welcome to the project demonstration of automatic power factor correction and monitoring system so here we are going to correcting by uh, controlling that is the help of this relay and capacitor so as we know that the power factor nothing but whenever uh, only resistive load is connected into the to the device inputs then as of now the rest due to the uh, resistive load only then the power factor is going to the unity power factor as there is no uh, lagging or leading uh, between the current waveform and voltage waveform so the main phase difference between the current waveform and voltage waveform is called like cos theta so consider the theta is a phase difference between these two and cos theta is a power factor so if the phase difference is near to zero then it's going to be the near to one so like near to unity power factor so for resistive loads is always there is no difference between the phase difference between the current waveform and voltage waveform so when we add a inductive load so from this choke so when we add that in series with the resistive load then r plus l so then there will be a lagging of the mm -hmm. uh, like current waveform then due to that lagging there may there will be a like phase difference so that phase difference will be identified by our by our uno board with the help of this current transformer and directly from this voltage transformer we will get the voltage waveform and from this one we will get the current trans current waveform so it will check the phase difference between these two so based on that it will calculate the cos theta value so if that cos theta value is equal to power factor is less than 0.9 then the system will switch on this relay to add this capacitor in parallel with this l and r so l and r connected in series and this capacitor is connected in parallel with the help of this switch switch nothing but electromagnetic relay so when we on this this will connect in parallel with these two and then again it will check for the power factor value so if it is above 0.9 then it will stay calm so whenever we isolate the inductor then only r plus l will be there as of now because previously we have already connected this in parallel so now r plus l are in parallel so then according to the form according to the like power factor formula then the power factor will like the voltage waveform will leads so then the power factor will be leads because that uh, difference so then microcontroller will check the voltage waveform starting time and current waveform starting time so based on these two we will identify the whether it is lagging or leading so when we connect the capacitor it leads the current waveform will leads then automatically our microcontroller arduino uno board will switch off the relay in parallel with this load with the help of again same electromagnetic relay and parallelly we are going to display the so called status on the lcd screen and we are going to upload the same power factor value to the thinkspeak cloud with the help of esp8266 module thinkspeak right and this is the switch to connect and disconnect this inductor from the r load and next this capacitor is connected in parallel with the uh, so called r plus l with the help of this electromagnetic relay and this is the converter so whenever we are providing the current waveform input to this arduino board so current waveform will provide us the uh, ac so that will be converted into the dc with pulses so where it is starting that so that will be done with the help of this potential divider circuitry and on lcd we are displaying that and this is the pt consists of regulator power supply board so we are providing 230 volts input to this board so it will get the directly input to this uno board along with the pulse wave pulse wave form for uh, voltage and next same parallelly we are providing 230 volts inputs through this cables to the ct and after the ct parallelly to the load and to the capacitor and to the load is connected to the inductor choke along with the switch the switch is connected in parallel with this choke so when we off the switch is isolated so then the power will flow through the choke to the outputs and when we on this it short circuits so then automatically this will be isolated <coughs> so let us see the demonstration before switching on the kits we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings and there change the hotspot name to project 5119 and change uh, the you should use the all small letters without any space and next password should be 12345678 so check twice before switching on this hotspot so once you switch on the hotspot along with data log into the thinkspeak cloud platform there you can see this and 
click on that so what's for this now yes sir on this so right sir after seeing that you can see this web page so there there are the three sections we need to access one is private view to check the waveform channel settings to clear the old data data import export to download the data so this is the old data so when you touch on the point so there we can see the along the time and date and power factor value so just let us erase the old data so before that download the data so now the download and open that in a wps or an excel sheet so data will open and it will show the along with the date and time along with number of entries and the power factor value okay so there we get the data in excel sheet so along with the date and number of entry side is and the power factor values right so now so switch on the kit so check that dot spot name properly as well as data and then you can switch on the kit right so when we switch on the switch so then right. so welcome message on lcd screen and after that so the power factor will be calculated so let us wait till it has to settle down why because previously we have already inductor Without any L load and uh, C load, so the power factor is 0.96 is near to one. So as we have connected only R load. So now after downloading the data from ThinkSpeak, so as we said, how to download that? So from data import export, you can download. To clear the old data, go to channel settings, and in that only do clear channel. right and now go to private view private view to check the data channel settings to clear the old data and next download data import export to download the data so for every 15 seconds of duration the thing speak data will be uh, uploaded so as you don't accept before that so right we got the one more new data so when you click on the dots you can see the data value and when i connected the inductive load in series with the r load then automatically the power factor will be uh, down to 0.75 in our case and the uno board will check the data and then it will switch on the capacitor in parallel to the load then again it will check for the correction in the power factor value so the corrected value will be displayed on the lcd screen as the data is uploaded to the thingspeak cloud platform again so you can see that so once so it did keep on displaying that so once we isolate this inducting chalk then it will check for always it's keep on checking that again it when the power factor leads right and let the power factors to be uh, to be settled as the current waveform moves from uh, on over to the voltage waveform then it's leading so then automatically the relay got switched off and again it will be corrected the value right and you will get that so it will take some time to settle down right so like this we can store the data and logging into the excel sheet from this cloud platform the data will be stays till you clear the old data so let me explain the clear flow 230 volts input to this rps and from rps to voltage wave from data to the arduino board and parallelly we are providing the same 230 volts input to this three loads r 